Nigeria is home to over 41 million micro, small and medium enterprises who struggle every day to turn a passion into a business which usually is the ultimate dream. It is on the bedrock of this that key stakeholders in Nigeria's trade space have converged in a three-day forum entitled Rebuilding and Scaling the New Normal, which is focused on promoting technology and social innovation, entrepreneurship development, and skills acquisition. Speaking with the NCBN, these stakeholders spoke on the need for support and a reinforcement of the relationship between policymakers and small business owners, especially as businesses strive to recover from the COVID-19 disruptions. The government does have the MSME clinics. I don't know if you're aware of those, but those are clinics that have been occurring around the country and they're an opportunity to bring together different arms of government, different agencies that um, are active in that um, entrepreneurial space. So bringing them together and connecting them with entrepreneurs in different states so that that gives um, entrepreneurs an opportunity to ask questions of the different agencies, um, to get advice, um, to be mentored. The time for free money is gone. The oil that we have depended on over the years and we have, you know, uh, forgotten about people who have ideas, who have energy, you know, is gone. We will, we will begin to depend less and less on oil. And it is these young men and women whose ability to create, they are the ones that will keep the society going, they are the ones who build a society. Nigerian youth is creative, Nigerian youth is talented, and the Nigerian youth will be able to survive the challenges beyond this country because uh, the what I can do, my part is to encourage the Nigerians in the diaspora to, to assist the Nigerian SMEs here and what I can do also is to ensure that the Nigerian SMEs here have uh, access to the platforms that will be able to showcase them abroad. The convener. Olao Lua Oloru Nishomo expressed the need for continuous support to indigenous innovators and entrepreneurs through business incubation. We have to create clusters, so innovation hubs. So what this is an innovation hub, what startups need to do is to come around, right? Come to our own cluster, come to our own community, let us look at their businesses, let us train them, let us prepare them, you know, in order to build their capacity and also to have access to funding. Chiamaka Nendu, NCBN News. Abuja.